How's it going everybody? Jared here and today we'll be working on our first tvOS application. Now this is a very basic tutorial so if you know anything about tvOS I probably would just skip this tutorial because we're just going over the basics. We'll be going over how to set up buttons, how to change labels, and also just go over a little bit on how you control your tvOS simulator. So let's go ahead open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now inside of here it gives you the option of going iOS, tvOS, watchOS, OSX. I'm going of course go to tvOS. Now I will be using a single view application, but if you want, you can use a game, a single view application, or a tabbed application inside of uh, tvOS. So continuing on, this is a single view application. Go ahead, click next. The product name, I'm just gonna type mine in as hello world, even though this really has nothing to do with hello world. And then language will be set to Swift, and we just hit next and create. And then now with this, you're just set up pretty much with your basic uh, main.storyboard, your viewcontroller.swift. This is very similar to the experience that you would get in creating any iOS application. At it just really is. So we can go right into our main.storyboard right here, and you're presented with a giant view controller. So this is, of course, your view controller in which you would add buttons and labels and table views, and you can actually add a table view controller in here if you want. Again, it's just a very similar experience to creating any iOS application. But continuing on, let's go ahead and add some things onto this view controller. So let's go ahead, click a button onto our scene. So just click and drag a button like so, and then we can just copy copy and paste that button so that we have two buttons like so. So now we have two buttons and I'm just gonna just put them in the middle here like so. I'm gonna make this first button say add and this second button I'm just gonna change the title to say subtract. And then with these buttons you can of course go over here into your attributes inspector and change the text color, the shadow color, uh, you can change the background color if you want, if you want like a green button and this one can be like a red button or something like that. Again, the choices are up to you. You can do whatever the heck you want inside of your own application. And then up here, I'm just going to click and drag a label onto our scene like so. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, set it in the center there. Go over to my attributes inspector and here you can change the font. You can change everything about this label. So inside of here, I'm just gonna type in score uh, like that and then just hit enter. And then I'm also gonna center the text and I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. So I'm just gonna change the size by going into here. And I'm also gonna change the font to something else. So let's go ahead, click custom. We can change this to, I will make this apple color emoji. That works. <laughs> And then that's it for just setting the text. You can change the color, of course, just by going up here to the color and uh, changing it accordingly. I shall keep it kind of a dark gray, blackish color. And then because Apple TV generally works with 1080p screens, I'm not going to worry about constraints, but if you want to, you can just right click or control click and drag from any of these objects and add constraints to your scene. Hold shift if you want to select multiple uh, constraints if you want. Again, I'm not going to add any constraints, so we're just going to keep that pretty general. And then now I'm going to go over to my assistant editor right here. And then I'm just going to right click or control click and drag from my score label that I created. I'm going to put that right over into my view controller.swift and give it a name of my score label. And of course, this is an outlet as we're just naming something that's on the scene that we can use later on. So now we can go down here to our add button and I'm just going to right click or control click and drag from add over there. And I'm just going to insert this as an action. The name of this, I'm just gonna call this add. So this is going to be an add function that's going to be added into my viewcontroller.swift. Go ahead, connect. And then I'm just gonna do the same with my subtract button. Again, action, name, I'm just gonna set this to subtract, connect. Then with this, I'm gonna go right up here and create a variable. This will be my score variable. So I'm gonna say var score will be equal to, and I'll set this equal to an integer, so capital INT, open close parentheses like so. And then right down here inside of my add function, I'm just gonna say score plus plus. Now this just basically adds one to the score every time. And if you wanna get even further, you can say score plus equals and we'll say 10 or something like that. So you add 10 every time. We'll keep it at that, make things interesting. And then we can go right underneath that and just say score label dot text will be equal to that of our open close quote like that slash open close parentheses. And inside of here, I'm just gonna put my score. Now also I want this little score colon right before that. So I'm gonna just type in score colon little space before the score, just make it a little bit nicer if you want. And then we can go right down here into our subtract button. And then I'm just gonna say score minus minus. So it subtracts one every time. And then we can of course just take this 
uh, part right here where it's change, updating the score label. And we're gonna put that right down there inside of our subtract. And now that's pretty much the whole application I was going to build. Again, it was very simple, very easy, but now I'm gonna take you into the simulator and show a little bit on how that works. So let's go ahead, go into our simulator. Now you'll be launched right into your application like so. So now I have add and subtract. And now I actually wanna click some of these buttons and interact with my app. So I'm gonna go right up here, say hardware, show Apple TV remote. And this is where you can control your application. So you can just tap on the touchpad right here and that'll add some points from the ad. But if you wanna switch over to the other button in the simulator, you just hold down option and then you just drag along the Apple remote. You don't need a click or anything, just drag along the Apple remote right there. And that'll go right over to subtract and then you can just start subtracting from your application like so. And then this is pretty much how you control your Apple TV remote. Now, if you wanna go home, you can just go ahead, click menu and this will take you over to your menu system. And then you can go ahead and uh, click any of your other applications that are going on. Go over to your settings if you feel like it. And this is where you can edit your accounts and other stuff like that. So you can go ahead, click on general, go to restrictions, do whatever you want. This is set up exactly how you would use an Apple TV, just without like all the other applications that are on it. So now we can go ahead, go back to our menu and let's just launch our application again. So that was hello world right there. And that's pretty much the whole application that I wanted to show you. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you, just how to get started with tvOS. I know it was a very quick and simple tutorial, but if you want to see more tvOS tutorials in the future, be sure to leave recommendations down in the comment section down below of what you would like to see. And also, if you have a tvOS application, hit me up, because I would love to check it out. But either way, hopefully this gets you started in the tvOS realm of things. Again, it's very similar to iOS, so you should be able to just hop right into tvOS and do whatever the heck you want. I'll definitely be doing tutorials on how to make games in tvOS, and also how to like do table view controllers and other stuff like that. I think it's a very cool platform and I think definitely more people should be using it. I love this animation of the buttons. I mean, it's just really nice that you can uh, hover right over it and it just like move, does a parallax effect. It's really cool. And darn it, I love cool things. But either way, thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.